supporters of Salvador Nasrallah, who challenged the president in the Honduran election, waiting Wednesday for results in Tegucigalpa, the capital. Edgar Garrido Reuters Mexico City, Honduras was on the edge of political turmoil on Thursday, with the opposition candidate accusing vote counters of trying to steal our victory in an election whose results are sharply contested. The candidate, Salvador Nasralla, said Wednesday that he would not accept the count of the country's electoral commission, whose computer tally showed that President Juan Orlando Hernandez had closed a gap that initially put Mr. Nasralla ahead in the voting that ended Sunday. And Nasrallah's statement that he would not accept the count represented an about-face from a letter he had signed a few hours earlier along with Mr. Hernandez. Brokered by the Organization of American States, the agreement committed both men to respecting the commission's results. With ballots counted at about 80 percent of polling places, the candidates' vote totals were almost even when Mr. Nasrallah backtracked on the agreement. A final result is expected on Thursday. The standoff threatens to escalate political unrest in the deeply divided country, echoing the crisis that erupted eight years ago when a coup forced out President Manuel Zelaya, who is now the political strategist behind the left-wing coalition backing Mr. Nasrallah. Erratic behavior by the Electoral Commission since the polls closed has lent credibility to the opposition's allegations of fraud. The commission, which is controlled by allies of Mr. Hernandez, suspended the counting of ballots early Monday after Mr. Nasrallah pulled ahead by almost five percentage points. Counting resumed a day and a half later, on Tuesday afternoon, and the gap steadily began to close. After Mr. Nasrallah signed the OAS agreement, the commission's computer went dark again. The commission's president said the server was overloaded. M. Nasrallah during a news conference on Wednesday in Tegucigalpa. Rodrigo the Associated Press, we don't recognize the results of the cheating, Electoral Commission, Mr. Nasrallah, 64, said at a news conference as supporters cheered, holding up what he said were copies of unsigned tally sheets, Mr. Nasrallah, a former sportscaster, said, they are taking us for fools, and they want to steal our victory, Mr. Nasrallah's early lead in the election was a surprise. As president, the conservative Mr. Hernandez, 49, had established control over all the branches of government, including the Electoral Commission. His hand-picked Supreme Court lifted the Constitution's iron-clad presidential term limit, and his allies in the media assured largely favorable coverage. This week's political unrest comes as Honduras grapples with stubbornly high poverty, drug gangs and one of the world's worst murder rates. M.R. Hernandez had built-in advantages going into the election, with the line blurred between benefits offered by government social programs and his national party. And despite limits on campaign spending, a report by monitors from the European Union found that the president accounted for almost two-thirds of political advertising spending. As the night wore on Wednesday, the police used tear gas to disperse demonstrators who gathered outside the building where the ballots are kept. Members of the opposition said that the long pause in the vote count, followed by the erosion of Mr. Nasrallah's lead, confirmed their suspicions that the commission was trying to rig the election. International organizations called for it to speed up the count. We believe that a faster process, with transparency in the transmission of the results, is a process that does not leave empty spaces, doubts, uncertainties, said Marie Simachas, the leader of the European Union Observer Mission. In Washington, a State Department spokeswoman, Heather Nowitt, urged members of the commission to complete their work without undue delay.